tea, the hot piping tea. Hi kids, it's your Rico Hera here, all the way from RuPaul's Drag Race, and we're here on HBO, and I'm here with Pink News. And guess what I'm gonna play? Rumor has it. <laughs> A game show where I read online rumors about Mawa and I dish on whether they're true or not. So let's do this. So on April 29th, 2020, Rafi Armrak said a store owner called the cops on Bob Shangela and Eureka while they were filming HBO's We're Here. And yes, this is insanely true. So you actually see in the episode where there's like a woman standing outside a venue that we were gonna check out and she had a phone and it was the store owner and she handed the phone off to me and this owner was like fully cussing out saying, if you don't get off my effing property, I'm calling the police. Actually, I'm calling them right now. So I handed the lady the phone and I was like, y'all, we got <laughs> and of course, I said, Pops girl and Baba Chandler peeled, honey. I was like, all right, girl, let's hit it. <laughs> they popped the trunk, girl, they popped the trunk. So at RuPaul's Drag Race, okay, besties, what's Eureka Hera and Trinity K. Bonet's ship name? Oh, I don't know. Maybe they call us Eureka Bonet. I don't know what nickname they have for me and Trinity. But I do know that I love Trinity. We just had a connection that was very personal and friendly even before coming to compete. Plus, I'll always have a little bit of crush on Trinity K. Bonet because I think she is fine. So the next one from at Paige Cube says, Miss Eureka Hera is in Colombia, but apparently lost her luggage. Can't wait until tomorrow. Okay, so that is true. So I was in Colombia, like literally the country, and I lost my luggage with my makeup and everything in it, honey. But you know, drag queens, girl, we make it work. And I remember when I used to have to get dollar store makeup and do my mug. Miss thing, I made it work. Okay, so at Jamie Lee Scotus says, also tea time, apparently both Aquaria and Eureka failed during their performances. But we didn't get to see that, I guess. Hashtag drag race. Mahaha. <laughs> the real tea, no, I did not fall. But Aquaria did fall during our first lip sync a couple times actually but they did save us both which i thought was really whimsical considering how upset aquaria was when me and camera got saved at i am jed d Ooh, the t in today's hashtag pit stop though in all star six snatch game eureka has a notebook which contains all her lines and catchphrases for divine she knows just one contestant who knew she had it then the notebook was gone <laughs> Tea, the hot piping tea. My notebook did go missing and I did for a long time assume it was a certain queen. But I have since talked to that queen and she swears it wasn't her. So I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and say that no one stole it. Maybe I just misplaced it, but it did go missing. Okay, so this one is at Harris on J Brock and it says, been thinking about Eureka's four fingers all weekend. Okay, this was wild because I don't know how my finger got edited out of this because I hated this because I wanted to be fierce and fashion forward, but they made me camp instead. But I will never know what happened to that fourth finger. But I will say I got an infection in my middle finger nail and now my nail is missing. So maybe I'm going to lose this finger fully because y'all manifested it. So this one says um, on Culture, from Culture Magazine by Sam Damsheenis, Eureka reveals the gross drag race moment that almost made RuPaul walk off set. So this is real. So during Snatch Game, I was doing Honey Boo Boo. I don't really know how to write, so I just drew pictures. <laughs> and at one moment, I like had butter and ketchup. And so I just started like eating this stick of butter and like squirting ketchup into my mouth. And RuPaul literally started gagging and had to like walk away. <laughs> okay, so our next one is from May 26, 2020 from at Sister Mira. Apparently, Shangela, Bob, and Eureka just think Ben can just come in here on my day off and make me cry in my living room. In front of my salad. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to keep them coming at HBO, hashtag we're here. You know, it is an emotional show and it's driven by truth. This season was different for me, just because I, in the last year, became sober. And you'll see in the Orlando episode of we're here that I come out as fully trans, trans female. I had lived trans earlier in my life and I lived in so much fear. So I decided to backtrack my transition and it had been a long time since I thought about it. Meeting with with Mandy and hearing her stories and how she felt once she decided just to face the fact she wanted to transition and how free she felt really made me think about it again. And it's just incredible the happiness and the comfort that I found taking that next step fearlessly. The next rumor is that Eureka O'Hara drops new empowerment anthem, Big Mom. Well, the rumors are true, Beach. I dropped the only single. The music video is very cinematic. 
you know, everything I do has deeper meaning. So this one says, Eureka Heritage to Essence Hall joined RuPaul's Drag Race Live. That is true, that happened. <laughs> that happened already, but I'm actually back at RuPaul's Drag Race Live from January to March this coming year, uh, because I have a lot of work I'm wanting to do for the next, like, second half of next year. But I just love doing RuPaul's Drag Race Live. It's such an amazing show. Well, you guys, that's the end of me, honey, on here. So thanks for watching my episode of Rumor Has It with Pink News. My name is Eureka O'Hara, and you can find me at Eureka O'Hara. Now subscribe below for future episodes of Rumor Has It. Bye!